ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ನಾವು ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಹೈ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಅರ್ಚಕುಡು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಅರ್ಚಕ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೀನ್ ಒಫಿಷಿಯೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಪೋಪ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬಿಷಪ್ ಓಕೆ ಪಾಂಟಿಫ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೋಪ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಹೈ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಅರ್ಚಕ ಪಿ ಓ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಐ ಎಫ್ ಎಫ್ ಸೊ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಹೈ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಬಿಷಪ್ ಆರ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೋಪ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಪೋಪ್ ಇನ್ನೋಸೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೋಪ್ ಇನ್ನೋಸೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೆಲೋ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಪೋಪ್ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹೀ ವಾಸ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕ್ವಿಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಫಂಕ್ಷನಿಂಗ್ ಒಫಿಷಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಹೈ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಅರ್ಚಕ ಬಿಷಪ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪೋಪ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪಂಪಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೀಚಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಟೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಮಾರಲಿ ಅಪ್ರೈಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೀಚಿ ಸರ್ಮನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೊರಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಟಿಮೋನಿಯಸ್ ಹಿಪಾಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಟಲು ಕೋಟಲು ದಾಟ್ತುನಾಯಿ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೀಚ್ ಟು ಮೇ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮಾರಲ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೋ ಮಾರಲಿ ಅಪ್ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಹೀ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೀ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿಲ್ ಟ್ರಿಪ್ ಮೀ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಡು ಹ್ಯಾ ಟೆಲ್ ಹೆಮ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅ ಹಿಪಾಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಪ್ರೀಚ್ ಟು ಮೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಪಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ದಿ ಕೆಟಲ್ ಬ್ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೊ ಪಾಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಂಪಸ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ಇಲೈಡ್ ಅಲಿಷನ್ ಡಿಲೀಷನ್ ಇಲೈಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿಲೀಟ್ ಆರ್ ಒಮಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಅಲಿಷನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒಮಿಟ್ ಒಮಿಷನ್ ಡಿಲೀಷನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಗೇಟ್ ಬೌಡ್ಲರೈಸ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಓಕೆ ರಿಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಕಾಲ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕೃಪಾ ಶಂಕರ್ ರಿಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನೋ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ದಿ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಕೃಪಾ ಶಂಕರ್ ಐ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಬೇ ಟೆನ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎ ಗೋ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವ ನೌ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ರಿಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಯುವರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ನೌನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ನ್ಯೂ ರಿಬಾನ್ so you can write your name and then write redox and tell people well i am not the old person you think i am <laughs> i am new in fact you know bernard shaw once said the only person who recognizes that i have changed is my tailor because every time i go to him he takes fresh measurements all the others seems to be judging me by what i was in the past but i am no longer that same person so you are whatever redox like i am krupa shankar redox brought back new perpetuate allow to continue perpetuating uh, perpetuating corruption perpetuating usually used in a negative context so perpetuate can also mean produce children offspring betray now betray means reveal unwittingly anukokunda baita vettedam so betray his uh, speech betrays his lack of knowledge in the or lack of depth in the subject one common meaning of betray is backstabbing treachery ನಮ್ಮಿಂಚಿ ಮೋಸಂ ಚೇಯಡಂ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಕಾಮನ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ವಿಟಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ರಿವೀಲ್ ಹೀ ಹಿಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಚ್ ಬಿಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಫೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಲುಕ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸೊಫಿಸ್ಟಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಈ ಓಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೌತ್ ಯು ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲಡಿ ಇಡಿಯಟ್ ಆ್
and i don't believe there's anything called love at first sight it's all lust anyway so lust at first sight the emotion that you experience is frisson oh my god you're excited mm. and the uh, telos t e l o s telos means objective what is the telos in your life telos means goal credo motto the national telos satyam eva jayate is our national telos objective goal teleology is a branch of philosophy study of the purpose uh, why does the universe exist why do we exist why does a rainbow exist why does a pen exist well you can write with that so teleology is the study of what is the purpose behind anything why does anything exist so teleology the de facto credo de facto means actual the de facto credo of america is e pluribus unum which means one among many we define the same thing as unity in diversity but they define the same concept as one among many uh, because they are laying strength emphasis on being that one not uh, trying to imitate or copy anybody else retain your individuality so in fact american culture they proudly say our culture is uh, likened to a salad bowl the salad bowl concept of the culture which means on a salad plate you will find onion tomato carrot or any other sol uh, vegetables all of them nicely arranged all of them retain their individuality and the onion remains an onion it doesn't become a tomato uh, the tomato doesn't become a carrot <laughs> so every piece every vegetable retains its individuality on the plate but they are all on one plate so americans uh, would like to you know take pride in the fact that they are that kind of a country so the salad bowl concept of culture which means they emphasize individuality they don't want you to change there's no pressure for you to change be yourself be good be a nice citizen be a law abiding citizen and you will have every opportunity to become prosperous that's the concept of the american dream because american dream basically means establishing a meritocratic society so if you are talented you will have enough opportunity to become prosperous so that is the salad bowl whereas indian concept we can call it the crucible a crucible as you know is a metal bowl in an alloy uh, made of an alloy found in a metal me, you know metal working uh, in a foundry where metals are melted at uh, 2000 degrees centigrade or more and heavy very strong acids are used and new alloys are created and all these are mixed in a bowl called the crucible but the crucible does not react because it is made of a particular alloy which will not react to any strong acid Uh, norway it we can also tolerate very high temperatures also so crucible but then what does the crucible do it will create a new product so india is a crucible once you come to india uh, hindus and christians and muslims of india are completely different from the christians and muslims in other parts of the world because india does something to them <laughs> india does something to you it hinduizes you uh, uh there so india is a crucible it brings about complete transformation it is almost like you know the difference between the salad bowl and the crucible is all the onion tomato all of them get juiced up or at least the tomato acquires a lot of qualities of the onion because uh, uh, so that is what india is so india is a crucible i call my classroom also crucible now crucible has another implied meaning crucible literally means that that bowl that vessel in a, a foundry which i just discussed crucible also means any place where powerful intellectual influences completely transform the individual so my classroom my classroom wherever i am uh, whatever i teach on the uh, door of the classroom i put i put this uh, uh, laminate on which i write crucible this is your crucible so once uh, once you enter my classroom i will along with the vocabulary or subject that i teach introduce elements of dharma bhagavad gita because i think all these are necessary for people to know in order to be happy and successful human beings and therefore they can be good citizens and they can contribute value to whichever society they are in irrespective of their religion right so well the de facto credo credo means motto de facto means uh, actual hmm? the actual the de facto credo of america is e pluribus unum e p l u r i b u s u n u m these are three different uh, words you know there is a separation e uh, separate p l u r i b u s pluribus unum you will find this written on every dollar and every coin also a green or greenback means dollar specie means a coin on any american dollar you will find on one side on the reverse you will find e pluribus unum that is the de facto credo and on the obverse o b v e r s e which means the heads the upside on that you will find the de jure motto 
de jure means the official the de jure motto of america is in god we trust in god we trust you will find this in god we trust on the heads that is the obverse of every dollar uh, currency note or even the coin and on the reverse or the converse or the back side you will find the de facto credo which is e pluribus unum okay collocations is the other word i have written here collocation that's a very important concept in english what goes with what what adjective uh, befits what noun yeah, heavy rain heavy wind heavy wind no heavy wind is not allowed strong wind yes strong rain no i don't think strong rain is right so these are collocations so i was sitting at my table not near my table uh, so what are the prepositions what is the adverb that uh, fits you cannot uh, take liberties uh, with any and every adjective right so you have to know the collocations of course if you are a master of the language if you are a wordsmith uh, yeah like uh, our prime minister is very good at that he, he can take liberties uh, if you are really a great scholar of linguistics and language then you can take certain liberties and probably create a few new collocations otherwise ordinary people like us we have to follow the rules <laughs> and be careful about the collocations and why is this important for you as a gre student because in the gre exam eh, there will be lot of fill in the blanks with words suggested as options but they will not fit eh, because the collocations are wrong so now you see how difficult gre can get sometimes yeah so there's a lot of serious work here so please don't take the gre as if it is some ordinary just another test no my dear friends i have a great uh, liking for the gre though i have no love lost for english uh, english i think is a dumb language nevertheless <laughs> english is a powerful language and you see uh, we all of us must acquire a good command over english in order to be respected as intelligent people because even if you are intelligent and if you cannot speak good english you are going to form a bad opinion i mean like in the sense you are not going to people are going to think very poorly of you because the optics are not going to be good in your favor optics means public perception so if you want to improve your optics make sure that you master english jai shri ram